What's up guys, that really gross guy here, and we're back jumping into Warframe for some funsies. Um, I'm jumping in, you guys saw this Rhino yesterday, except I recolored him on another tile set, just because, I don't know, I thought it, I randomized it, and I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool, let's roll with it. So, I decided to use it up and uh, change the helmet over, and it looks pretty cool. Still using the Opticore, still using the Vasto to level that up, and then still using the Silva and Aegis for funsies. But uh, anyways, um, I, uh, because Warframe hasn't really had too much uh, in terms of content coming out with, you know, obviously planes dropped and all that stuff, and then we're still kind of waiting to see whatever the Halloween deal is, um, there hasn't been a whole lot for me to cover. Now, it's to be expected with the, you know, the conventions and stuff going on. I can't expect, you know, DE to be able to just, just suddenly drop another set of content, you know, so, um, it's to be expected. I was kind of hoping for maybe a skin or something, but we did get the Tenogen stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, if you guys do want to check out a video that I did on Tenogen Round 10, I will put a thingy up in the corner for you guys to check that out. Um, it was, uh, basically taking a looking at all the, all the skins before they came out, when they were back on the Steam, uh, workshop, so... They're pretty cool. I give my opinions on them, and uh, there definitely are a few in there that I'm kind of, um, kind of looking at. Would like to get sometime in the future, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. There is one that I actually do absolutely want to do for you guys, but I still have to finish the loadout. I have to finish getting the weapons I need, uh, or yeah, the weapons I need for completing the loadout to do that. But um, yeah, I hope you guys will like it. But Anyways, there's a few, like I said, that I'm eyeballing that maybe we'll see here in the future. But, um, I have done, like, five Tenogen Spotlights so far up until this point. If you guys haven't seen those, um, you know, I highly suggest them. Uh, I think they're, I think the, the, the creators deserve, you know, their, their, their skin shown off. They deserve, you know, a potential, some potential income for their hard work. And, uh... I don't know, I put quite a bit of time into actually making those videos, so um, it would be great. And the reason why I haven't done Tenogen in a while is just because, in general, those videos, they do okay. But um, I would love I would love to be able to, in the future, uh, be able to put out a video and have it just... Even if, even if it just financially recuperates the amount of cost it was for the skin itself... Um, that would be that would be make it worth it for me to pick up a new skin. For let for instance, if the skin costs seven bucks, and the video does well enough to the point where it made seven bucks, even even not even you know like like personally, it doesn't have to fully recuperate it. But the better those videos do, the more the more I can see picking up you know three four five skins maybe even for uh, each wave of Tenogen. Uh, I think that would be awesome. But um, I know I've uh, I've had some compliments from uh, some of the content creators after they've seen those videos, so that's pretty nice. I like I like being able to you know do something and and uh, and actually talking to the, the creators, seeing the creators who created the stuff, and uh, I don't know I don't know it's it's like self fulfilling for me to to be able to to talk to those guys you know because of some uh, you know me trying to trying to show off their stuff because they you know like i said they deserve it um so i don't know it's kind of cool but in the future i would love i would absolutely love to be able to do tenogen uh more frequently pretty much every wave be able to do uh multiple of those but um right now like with with the way youtube's been and demonetization and stuff like that i was creeping up to the point where i wanted to do them more often and then youtube started you know, taking away more than half of what I, you know, what I was making beforehand, so it sucks, but if we can, uh, if we can, you know, just, 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 uh, get some of these, these new Tenogen videos, if I see especially this next one do fairly well, or even some of the old ones pick up in, uh, in viewership or something like that, um, I'll, I'll definitely try and do these more often, but um, I've been looking through them, and man, I just have so many ideas up in my head to make some of these possible. Um, even just flipping through and trying to recolor this uh, rhino, 
I was like, oh, I kind of want that Grax one. I kind of want to get a get a Grenier Grax Rhino. I think that would be really cool. But, um, anyways, anyways, um, let's just uh, proceed on and get this mission finished up. Boop, boop, boop. Um, like I said, I'm using this Vasto, which is absolutely garbage. <laughs> but uh, I need it in order to to uh, get my mastery rank maxed out on this weapon. You know, get the most out of it. So here we are, utilizing it. Eventually, I'll move it over to maybe like a... Uh, I actually have to also rank up the Lex, so maybe I'll rank up the Lex as well at some point. And then we'll... I, I was thinking about putting the Euphona Prime with this Rhino. I think that would be pretty cool. be pretty uh, hard-hitting. You know, I like my Rhino being like a hard-hitting type, type build, so maybe we do that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But he is, he is running the Opticore, which is freaking awesome. Uh, I haven't really seen it up to this point because of the... Uh, the fact that I've been having to carry these data masses around all the time. Oh, great. There we go. Boom! And boom! And boom! Okay. Pretty good. Man, I love this Opticore. I actually have a ribbon for it. It's not the best ribbon in the world, but it does have damage on it. So, I, uh, I decided to stick with it. But, hey, get out of here, Scorpion. Um, bam, take out the Nox. Bam, take out the guy behind the rampart. Oop, there we go. Take out these guys. Let me get a Rhino skin on, because I'll probably need it. Um, bam. And bam, is he still back there? Uh, I guess not. Oop, and bam. Oh, double kill. Nice. Bam. And bam. Okay. Man, I'm starting to love the Opticore. When it, when, when it was lethal and could kill you, I, like, swore it off because I got... I don't know, I didn't kill myself too often, but I was like, man, if I get into these really high-level missions and uh, I start running into trouble, this Opticore is going gonna, is gonna to just ruin all my good runs. So I actually stopped using it for the longest time. But now that I don't really have to worry about that, it's pretty nice. See, like, it used to, it used to kill you if you were that close, but not anymore. So thanks to that, I kind of want to run the Opticore some more. Opticore is just, I, I know it's incredibly good. And, uh, you know, especially with the ribbon I have, it's going to make its damage at least. I think it's like 130% I can, I can increase its damage. And then I think it has Toxic. Toxic on it, on, on the ribbon. And then it has, I think, Ammo Capacity? I don't know if it's ammo capacity on the magazine or if it's total ammo capacity, but um, I don't know. I don't know. It's not too bad. I would love, I would love that ammo capacity maybe to be something like crit or something, but um, even fire rate if I could get fire rate absurd. But um, without that, I think it's still a good ribbon. Probably not worth re-rolling. Uh, you know, I mean, it's worth, it's worth trying, but at the same time, I don't want to use up too much Kuva. Uh, for a ribbon that's already pretty decent, so. Um, so you might see Opticore in the future. I'm um, considering maybe moving the Opticore onto one of my more high-end builds. Uh, because, you know, just just how good it is. I need to start running uh, um, high, more difficult Cetus bounty missions. So maybe the Opticore comes in handy there. Might be what I do. For whatever reason, I thought I was still using the Vasto. Even though I already dropped off the... Thingy. There we go. Boom! Oh man, getting kills left and right. Boom! Let me get that open. And boom! There we go. Blow! And blow! Okay. Um, let me go melee the crap out of these guys. Zoop. Melees. Come on, melees. There we go. Zoop, zoop. Boom! Okay. And whoop. Ground slam. Oh, hey, hey. That was close. Um, boom. You'll get these guys. Finish these off. And that'll be that. That'll be the last terminal. And then we can head on out of here. But uh, one other thing I was considering is... I... I want to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Prosecutors. I want to 
I want to live stream. Like, I think I don't. I don't know if this day is going up the 29th or the 30th, but I want to live stream at least on the 30th. Maybe not Halloween night, because who knows what people are doing. But um, I want to live stream a scary game, but I don't have too many scary games. I have Resident Evil Zero, one, the remaster for one. I have four, five, and six. So those are like the only considered scary games I really own. I do have Evil Within, but I recently actually just beat that. I don't have Evil Within 2. Um, I just, you know, money. Um, but, uh, you know, I, uh, I don't know. I, I kind of want to play a scary game. And if you guys do want to join me on Twitch to play something like that, let me know what game you would like to see. Any, uh, any of those Resident Evils I mentioned, like I said, 0, 1, uh, 4, 5, and 6. Um, I know 4 like the back of my hand um that might be fun just playing around and goofing around with four or if you want me to actually be scared we could play one that i don't know as well i know five quite a bit um i hardly know six i played a little bit of six but i don't know zero i played like i don't know maybe a half an hour worth of zero um i've never played the first resident evil i saw a little bit of it when i was young but uh i never played resident evil zero or one so, that might be fun. Oh, I also have Revelations uh, 1 and 2. So we could play those, because I've never, ever played those either. Um, I think there was, like, a Resident Evil sale on Steam, and I just, like, bought them. And then I never really got around to playing them, but um, that might be fun. I actually started a Resident Evil series on my channel. Um, unfortunately, there is a flash drive. Yeah, right here. There's a flash drive that isn't doesn't work. It has it has my uh, my my video on it, um, or my videos for Resident Evil 4 finishing up that series, which I did like a well, like over a year ago, I think. And unfortunately, um, at like episode like 15 maybe or so, I don't know. Um, my flash drive stopped working, which had my my footage on it. So if I could find a way to recuperate that or whatever um i would i don't know people probably don't want to see my old footage so um but i would like to play resident evil 4 again um all the way through i actually want to do a next time we do some kind of charity and not for warframe but next time i can find a way to get involved in a charity stream i really want to play resident evil 4 and i want um i want to set some challenges up so that they can make it really, really hard for me to complete the playthrough. Um, for instance, every time, every time like a certain donation, like a low donation comes in, I have to drop drop a box of ammo. And if you guys know Resident Evil, ammo is very, very important. Um, and then at a high donation, we could be do like, um, I I have to I have to drop a weapon, and I can never pick it up for the rest of the playthrough or something like that. That would be super cool. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I know the game really, really well, but that doesn't mean I can play through the entire game with no weapons. You know what I mean? So it might be fun. It might be a good way to do like a charity event in the future. I know that they're on Twitch. They sometimes do like there's like a St. Jude charity type thing, and I don't know how any of that works. I know there's a couple couple big Twitch people that um, will do one as a as a as a team, and. If that ever, you know, if it ever got to that point, um, and I was able to, to, to get into, like, charity streams, I would do it. I would do it as often as I possibly could. That'd be so fun. Uh, especially, like I said, if we can find ways to challenge, challenge myself or something. I don't know. It might be cool. But, I just figured Halloween was coming up. Might be a good opportunity for us to play a little bit of a, you know, a scarier game. Um, there are a couple on... Uh, Steam on sale right now, like Doom, and I'm not, I don't know, I don't know, I've, I've seen Doom all the way through, so I don't know if that's something that I would, uh, I would want to play, you know, for my scary experience or whatever, but, um, there's a couple, there's a couple others on there, but, anyways, let me know what you think, I'm a little curious, I'd love to try and do something, you know, something for Halloween, and then future stuff in the future, but, let me know, let me know what you think, let me know, uh, you know, just in general, uh, when it comes to the channel, you know, future charity stuff, what do you think about that? And future, uh, you know, future games, what do you think about those? Um, I know some people will follow me around, but, um, like, 
95% of everybody uh, that subscribed is here for Warframe. So uh, I'm going to always continue to do Warframe, but I just, you know, you know, you know. But anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. We talked a little bit, had a little bit of fun. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Blah!